Hey y'all, it's Tracy from Mama's Comfort Cooking and I come to show y'all how I make my high rise buttermilk biscuits. Let's get started. It's really simple and easy. Once you learn, learn biscuits, you can do pretty much anything once you start learning the process of how to make a biscuit. So let's get started making some biscuits, okay? This is what you're gonna need. I have one cup of shortening. I have one cup of buttermilk. This is self-rising flour. It's four cups, but I shook a little off to the side. So I'm using four cups of self-rising flour. One cup, which is about a fistful for me, of shortening, any kind you want. And I'm using buttermilk. To this self-rising flour, yes, to this self-rising flour, I am going to add more baking soda. I'm going to add a fourth a teaspoon of baking powder. And I'm going to add, hold on, half a teaspoon of baking soda. Okay? Did you get that? I added a fourth a teaspoon of baking powder and half a teaspoon of baking soda. And I mixed it in my flour. Just like that, I'm going to move these ingredients out the way so you don't get confused. Next. I'm gonna pour my flour out. I'm just trying to keep all my flour on this side. I'm keeping my flour on this side. So for, for the sake of not confusing you, I'll leave that. We're not working with this, we're working with this. Let me get you closer in. Okay, is that good? Is that better? All right. Now, before I add the buttermilk, I am going to add my shortening, my cup of shortening. I'm going to add that cup of shortening. This is uh, room temperature. It does not have to be cold. These biscuits, it does not have to be cold. But what you do want to do is take your time and work that shortening in really good. Work it in really good. When I grew up, they made biscuits with room temperature as well as making biscuits that were um, made with cold shortening and cold butter. But these are the way I do mine. Just because it's self-rising, it does not mean that you can't add more if you want a higher rise. These are high-rise biscuits. And so I'm going to work this in really good. I want it to feel crumbly. I want it to feel crumbly. So, I'm going to use all of this to create my biscuits. That's why I kept this over here to keep the other separated. So, once I feel like it's in a filling. So, when I feel like it's worked in pretty good. And almost all of it looks like a crumble. All of it looks like it's just a crumble now. Like, what in the world is that? Once I get it to this texture, then I add my buttermilk. Okay? Yes, you're going to have to use your hands. I, I just don't know how you're going to work it in good with a fork. So I'm going to start slowly incorporating this one cup. I'm going to work it in. And it's all about a filling. It's all about the filling. So I can feel that I need. One way I know that I need more buttermilk is because all the crumbles have not become moist. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my cup of buttermilk. That was one cup of buttermilk. Now that feels really good. It's starting to get incorporated throughout all of it. It's gonna feel sticky. Don't worry about that. It's gonna feel, at this point if you wanted to, you just made drop biscuits. You just made drop biscuits. So, it's all right. I want you to understand it's supposed to feel sticky. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what it's supposed to feel. You're doing great. Keep going. Okay. I'm going to tell you. If you take your hand out like this, and that's what you got, then you got it right. 
All right. Now, that's good for me. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this to fold over into here to take the stickiness away. But if you want to drop biscuits, they're ready to drop. So, what I'm going to do is slide this back a little bit. I'm going to take my container that I have. And I'm just going to scoop up some of that flour. And I'm going to put it down here. Just like that. Okay? I can't give you measurements on this only because it's all according to how much you need. You may not need all of that. It was just set aside for the purpose of taking these biscuits that I used the four cups of flour with to just take some of the stickiness away, okay? We're just using it to take some of the stickiness away. But now, let me tell you, don't overwork your biscuit. So many times... We overwork our biscuit, and you don't have to. You don't have to do a whole lot of kneading. Kneading, I'm sorry. You don't have to do a whole lot. It doesn't take all of that. In my opinion, just in my opinion, your opinion can be different than mine. When I feel how many times I've done it, or if I feel like... It feels good through and through that part of it is not one way and part of it is another way. Now that's enough for me. Now I'm going to start cutting my biscuits. I'm going to start cutting them. I'm going to keep this extra flour here. Now you might use a rolling pin and that's fine. You can use a rolling pin and roll. But I like to show people what if I don't have a rolling pin? What do I do? Well, you just did it. Okay? So what we're going to do now, I'm going to move this out the way. I'm going to bring my cast iron skillet over here that is already seasoned and I sprayed it. I got my biscuit cutter. I'm going to roll my biscuit cutter in some of that flour. And I'm going to cut. And I deliberately left them thick because I want them to rise. Uh, do you see the rise? What they say, do you see what the rock is cooking? Okay. Now you can use different type of Crisco. You can use the Crisco that has the butter in it. Um, a combination of Crisco. You probably saw a few flakes in there. But just regular Crisco will do the job as well. So I did not want to confuse you all. And we are still doing good. We are still making biscuits. Hey, you're making biscuits. Just make them. And I'm not doing a whole lot of rolling. I don't want to overwork my dough. Okay? This, this is what works for me. Now anybody else that's making biscuits... I'm not telling you what they're doing is wrong because I would be telling a story. This is just what works for me, okay? I want that a little bit bigger. At this point, I could make me a big old fat whole cake. I know some people say, oh, whole. Well, it wasn't called whole when I grew up. It was called whole. Whole cake. And I know it derived from using a certain type of skillet. And it was mostly under a cornbread situation, but later on, because we decided when we made one big piece of bread, we incorporated it in the biscuit story. And so that's how I grew up. Okay. And this last one, I don't waste. You have not because you waste. So I'm not going to waste. And I'm not going to try to cut it, but I'm just going to mold it. It's going to be a little different, but it's going to still be good. Okay. I got my oven set for 400 degrees. These will cook about 10 minutes to 12 minutes. And when we come out, we'll see some biscuits. Now, another thing that I do with my biscuits is I'll melt butter and pull them over my biscuits before they cook. But you don't have to do that, especially if you're just starting to make biscuits. So let's not make it confusing for you. Let's get these biscuits in the oven on 400 degrees for about 10 minutes to 12 minutes. And we'll see what we're doing. And that time also includes my browning. When you do turn your bra on, you have to stay with your biscuits. 
do not walk away because they will brown very quick. And then you can take them out, brush them with butter. Okay, so in just a few minutes, we'll uh, come and see the end result. So here's the outcome of the high-rise biscuits. Let me correct the time. It took me about 22 uh, minutes to cook these, and that including uh, included the browning. And in about 12 minutes, I did go and I added... Um, some butter half a stick of butter I pull over it when they were in there for about 10 minutes this is the outcome of these high-rise biscuits that I do um, I open one up so you can see all the goodness on the inside and this is the one that I did not roll out and it almost looks like a roll that's the one I just did not cut with the cutter. That's a nice rise on that biscuit. Thank y'all so much for watching Mama's Comfort Cooking. Where we cook with the heart and the soul in mind.